Hi everyone, Alison Davis here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's video is all about hitting from the inside. Now, you might say, why is that important? Well, we're stood aside the ball. So in order to hit a straight shot, we have to hit the ball from the inside. Now, if you wanted to fade the ball, you don't have to hit from the inside. But I would say to you, 99% of the golfers in this world would cut across the golf ball or hit from the outside. So today I'm gonna to give you some little cheats to help you hit from the inside consistently without changing your golf swing, without making wholesale changes to your golf swing, put it that way. Certainly conceptually changing it and certainly presetting something in your body or head to change things as we swing through the golf ball to make you hit from the inside more often than not. So guys, if you're new to the channel, please subscribe or follow me. I post videos three times a week, all designed to lower your scores and improve your golf. I've got some great videos coming up also, so make sure you don't miss them. Also click the notifications button also. So keep watching to learn these hitting from the inside cheats. So okay, we're looking today at how we can hit from the inside. And just to clarify what that is, if you imagine we have a target line, and I'll use this yellow rod as my target line. I know it's not on the ball line, but in an ideal world, because I'm stood to the side of the yellow rod, if I want to hit a straight shot, my club has to come down my side of the yellow line onto the yellow line and return inside that yellow line. So we're swinging the golf club in what we would class as a circle. It's an inclined circle, plane, an arc. It can be called many different things. I don't really mind what you call it. The key thing for me is you understand what you need to do as an individual, as a golfer, to improve your golf. That's the most important thing. So we generally would see, as coaches, most golfers come from what we would class it as the outside across the golf ball, hitting pull shots, slice shots, fade shots, and push slices. We tend to see the better golfers at the golf club or the driving range hitting the ball with what we class as a draw, a right to left curve finishing on target. They might overdo that sometimes and hit a hook. And that's what a lot of golf, good golfers are trying to take out of their game, trying to take the left side of the course out of the game. A lot of average golfers or high handicap golfers are trying to take the right side of the course out of the game. So we all have things to work on. And they are different things, and there's nothing wrong with what you need to work on. It's understanding you and understanding what you need to make, make a difference to your game is, is important. And that's where clarity from a lesson comes in, if it be an online lesson or an in-person lesson. In-person lessons you can't beat, to be honest with you. So anyway, today we're looking at cheats, two cheats to help you hit from the inside consistently every single time. So if you imagine I take my normal setup to a golf ball, and my normal eye position would be probably towards the back of the ball, but my eye would be parallel to my ball to target line, as you can see here. That would be normal, and that would be what I'd recommend for most golfers. Now, the inside cheat is all about trying to get the path to go to the right. So if I rotate my head so that my eye line now is pointing, let's say if we had a clock face here at 12 o'clock was the target, more at one or two o'clock, that is gonna make me want to hit from the inside. It's gonna make me want to drive that club from the inside. So the first cheat is all about presetting my eyes, my eye orientation, if you like, more to the right of target, but doing it after we set up to the golf ball. So setting up squarely and then rotating my eyes to the right. And potentially, if you want to then, having your focus point as an object, that'd be about 10 or 15 yards right of the target. So I'd want to stare at that I'd want my eyes to be at that angle. You can overdo it as much as you can. If you think of Jack Nicholas in the old days, he used to have his head set back behind the ball a lot more. Part of the reason was to help this, I would imagine. Never asked him about it. Never asked anyone about it that's coached him. So it's a guess. But I would imagine this is part of the reason he did it. So we would preset our eyes like so, and we'd go ahead and make a swing. So that one has a nice big draw on it, more draw than I want. Again, I tend to draw the ball anyway with my eyes, so I would not want to do this if it was me. I could potentially go the other way, and my eyes would then shift my path more from the outside. Tend to you with my golf swing, not to bore you too much, is my path is pretty neutral. It's about two degrees from the inside, but my face tends to shut down too much. So again, shifting the path, not gonna make a huge amount of difference to me. I've got to control that club face a bit better. So the second sheet, 
would be more about shifting the eyes in transition. So we can still set up with the eyes parallel as normal or to the right, but in transition, trying to feel that my eyes are going further to the right. Again, now this has been more or less at three o'clock. And again, the more we shift them to the right, the more it'll shift our path, okay? So it would be, again, a conceptual idea, moving the eye line to the right in transition. And what I'd recommend you probably do is when you're hitting balls on the range, you might do some really slow swings doing this initially. See what ball flight you get. Again, what we'd want to see is shots that would go straight to the right or starting right and drawing back. So the idea of shifting those eyes in transition is more dynamic than the pre-swing setup. The pre-swing setup is easier. So I would possibly start with the pre-swing one and then work into the dynamic if it doesn't make much difference to you. If you need to do both, do both. They're both nice cheats. Ways of changing your path without you particularly having to stand there and grind out shallowing drills or exercises to change your path. So let's have a go with that one. This one's gonna be tough, I know that for me. But I'm gonna try and shift my eyes in transition more that way. You notice as I do it, what it causes is more right side bend, which then lets the club go to the right. Okay, massively changed my path that one did. So that shot went too far right, straight right, which is kind of what I'm saying to you should be the goal for practice to change that path. Uh, it didn't draw back at all. I don't have a problem with that and it missed the fairway just on the right hand side there. So it's probably gone 20 yards right to my intended target line. Again, so it's shifted my path quite a bit. So it worked, it's great. So again, it's feeding what you need. So if you need to shift your path more to the right, more of this. And again, the idea would be, we work out how many tablets you need to take. What I mean by that is, you might do this in the practice area for 30 balls and try a normal shot. You might do it in the practice area for a thousand balls and try a normal shot. Not in one go, please, a thousand balls, but over a period of say a week or two. And then you'd see then how much you need to do it. Then you might put some maintenance in there and do it once a month. Or you might have it as your conceptual thought every time you play and that's you for your life done, your path has changed. So the idea is you can do this as a practice routine drill or you can do it as a conceptual idea from the get go to make a difference to your game. So I hope you've enjoyed those cheats on how to hit it from the inside every time. And hopefully you understand a bit more now why you need to hit from the inside if you want to hit straight shots or draw shots. Obviously we can hit hook shots from the inside and we can hit push shots from the inside. They may not be so desirable, but if you've been a slicer, quite often you want to see a change. And if you've been a hooker, you want to see a change. I think we all like to see a change to our current pattern and then know why we've made that change and know what we're going to do to continue to make it better. So if you've enjoyed today's video, please click like and share the video. It really helps my channel grow and I really appreciate it. Also, please chat down below, request any videos, ask any questions, or give me any feedback if you want on the particular video or any of my videos. I'd love to have you as part of the community, chatting and make sure this channel goes in the direction that you want to see it, because at the end of the day, if you're watching my videos, it's gonna make my channel work, which is what I want. So if you are newish viewer and you haven't subscribed yet, please hit my logo down this bottom corner. Join me on my journey. Let me help you improve your golf, lower your scores, and enjoy your golf more. Lastly, thank you for tuning in today. Thank you for joining me at the Forest of Arden, where I'm based in the UK. And I hope to see you back here as soon as possible.